Hi there, it's Emma from Emma's Cards and Paper Crafts. I've got the new um, winter catalogue to show you today and a couple of bits from the new winter catalogue that I've, um, I did get on my pre-order. It came a couple of weeks ago, but with the summer holidays still, it's been a little bit hectic with the kids and everything going back. Um, finally, we're back into the swing of things now they've been back a week. So uh, let's get down to it. So we've got, these are the main suites here in the catalogue. We've got three, eight different suites. Um, let me make sure you can see the majority of this. Um, so just a couple of ideas with a couple of the suites. Um, so this paper here, um, A Walk in the Forest it's called. Um, they'll be donating £2.50 from each pack to the... Um, Oh, to support organisations. I don't think it mentions which ones exactly, but it's to um, pro providing support to those in need. So, a bit of a charity one here. Um, also, love this paper. Um, I think this actually coordinates and works with the bear punch I've got from the Berry Cute Suite. I believe that will work. Um, so, it gives you an alternative paper. Um, and I think it may even work, no, it won't work with that one, um, I think there may be, yeah, there's a, um, there might be a tree die from another suite that will work with it, um, so, first suite up is the Merry, Bold and Bright suite, hopefully you can see all of this, um, so this has got a lot of your bright colours in it, spots, stripes, fairy lights and everything. And just a general feel good bright colour collection. Um, next up, we've got the Saint Nicholas. So, um, no, it's not this week, even though it shows the tree here with a um, die. I don't think that die is one of those because it would show it down here if it is. So, it must be another die that can go with that. Um, here we go, these ones here. So, Merriest Trees Bundle. So, the die from this, can't guarantee it, but almost probably will go with these trees here because there's two different size trees. There's a five layer tree and a three layer tree. So, yeah, this one's a five layer tree. And then you've got the three layer tree in the. Um, so, you've got the five, four, three, two, and one layers here to cut out tr different trees. So, that would work with those charity papers too. Um, we've got this stamp set here, so this is a stand load stamp set, which is festive and fun. Who doesn't need a giraffe um, decorating a Christmas tree? Um, next up is Oh Holy Night. This has got a lot of nice foiled papers in it. And some nice sparkly ribbon. And some 3D stars. Yeah, 3D adhesive star trinkets. They're quite pretty. Um, next up... So you've got some nice big sentiments here that are good for just doing simple cards with just a um, DSP background and just a sentiment. Uh, oh, nearly missed one. Stars at night. So these two kind of coordinate together. Um, next up we've got the Rocking Horse Suite. So they've actually used the um, fishing... Um, tackle box die here to give you different sections in the box so you can put your gifts and things in it which is a good use of uh, making the best out of uh, different um, stamp sets and how you can use them together um, so this one shop the town is actually very very similar to the lay shop um, suite as well that's in the annual catalogue but this one has a Christmassy storefront so you can uh, mix and match those with the uh, Lay Shop Suite and then we've got the Forever Forest which is just a nice autumnal as well as Christmassy kind of uh, stamp set and dies as well again some nice big bold um, sentiments and um, that one was called Joy to You sorry and then there we've got the Berry Christmas Suite so this is the one that I've got a few things to show you so we've got the um, 
punch when I get it out of the packet. Should have opened all these packets before I started, but didn't think about that. So we've got the punch. Um, I've got the stamp set. So this has also got the three layer tree, so you could use the dies from that other um, stamp and die set, the let me check what that one was called the trees one which was only a few pages in um, the merriest trees die bundle I think that would actually work with quite a few sets that we've got here this year we've got the um, memories of more cards and if you've seen any of my previous videos you know that I go mad for memories of more cards because of my little albums I do with the kids photos for their memories for each year so let's just open this packet and we can have a look at them together quickly. Um, so we'll do the small ones first. You usually get two, either two or four of each design. So there's four of each, oh no, five of each, six of each design in this one. So you've got give the gift of Christmas cheer and then a striped Christmas background. Wishing you the best this season and a nice little North Pole notes on the back. Let it snow and some presents. May your Christmas be cosy and then just a blank one. Um, good tidings and warm wishes. A nice um, present background. That'd be good for putting a photo in the middle. Um, and then you've got a blue Christmassy design and then another nice frame one. So that's the small cards. Let's go through the big cards quickly. So you've got also got six of each of the big ones as well. So you've got seasons greetings, and then the bear scene on the back. We've got Merry Christmas and presents on the back. Christmas is better together, of course it is. And then on the back you've got a snowflake scene, and then you've got your sticker sheet. So you've got two of each sticker sheet. Ah, oh, one of my sticker sheets is a little bit. Oh, sorry, it's only the corner that's being messed up not the actual stickers so you've got two different sticker designs you've got, oh you've even got a seal in there and some deer to and from some labels so nice little collection of cards those ones depends on how, how they go down i might even uh, buy a second packet of those if i end up using quite a few so here are just some project ideas with these cards um so I didn't buy everything in the suite. I'm not a big ribbon person. And the um, embossing folder is actually too big for both of my embossing these machines. I don't have the big stamp and cut and emboss. I have my old other branded one. <laughs> um, so it won't actually fit in mine. So I decided against getting that one. And didn't really go much on those. I thought they were going to be more 3D gems. But then when I seen somebody else's video, it turns out they're more completely flat and just sparkly which it's nice but just not me and then so there we've got a close-up version of the uh, um, stamp set there and the punch and then we've got a gift of giving so quite a few of my fellow demos have been using this one quite a lot and um, so if you're a fan of coloring it's a great one to color um, not quite so Christmas Christmassy but autumnal owl set, um, winter owls. Um, I've got a background stamp, fragrant forest, and also a background stamp, graceful deer. So I guess these are probably around about the they're around about A5 size when they're stamped. If it's a block F, that's usually the great big block. I don't have one to hand. Ah. I think it's a little bit bigger than this block this isn't a stampin up block but i think these are a little bit bigger than this so i'm not sure what size these are so that's three inch by five inch block and i think they work out a little bit bigger than that um so there's that one um next up the next week we have is joy of christmas this is just a, a lovely I'd say traditional kind of um, sweet. So you've got your gingham ribbon, some um, 
holly and berries, some nice foiled prints and your standard DSP. Um, they're both 12 by 12. Um, and that just gives you a closer up of the stamp set that goes with it. Um, next up we've got the Christmas classics. Um, and then we've got the Sending Cheer Gingerbread Man. Who doesn't have a gingerbread man? A stocking, um, an envelope. So they're all quite cute. Oh, so they're, they're actually, the, uh, the dies are actually tag dies. So they've got little loops in the top of them. So they're specifically for making tags if that's what you want to do. Or you could just carefully trim off the tag loop if you don't want the tag loop on it. Um, Jolly Words. Again, these are nice big uh, focal uh, different um, sentiments. And then you've got the Christmas Tidings embossing folder um, as well. Um, we've got the Radiant Light. And then the wishes all around. So the wishes all around is stamps and dies, and the radiant light is just stamps. Um, Winter Meadow Suite. This is one that has come up a few times with uh, fellow demos as well, and they really love the DSP in this one. I'm not so sure on the flowers and leaves, but I do love this snowflakey specialty uh, design series paper here nice foils and things um and more of the faster gems so this is what i was hoping the berry ones were going to be like the um these ones here whereas these are flat these have got a more 3d um fasted look to them so i might order these and these later on depending on how things go um so all of the stuff i actually got today um the majority of it was paid for with my um voucher codes I earned on the July special that I was telling you about so for every £40 or £45 you spent you got a £4.50 voucher back so then I spent that on my Christmas pre-order um, so that's just a close up of the Magical Meadow stamp set um, next up is we got the Sparkling Snowflakes and this is something else I got as well um, Got the punch here which makes these lovely um gift well yeah the top here it makes lovely gift tags like a snowflake punched out the top so you can see there so i'm going to be having a play with this soon um i've just realized i didn't go through the very cute dsp with you so we'll do that in a moment when i get to the end we'll go back to that one and then the sparkling snowflakes stamp set i'm a sucker for a snowflake so had to get the snowflakes um even though i've probably got about three snowflake sets already so that's that one um next up we have the above it all so this has got your i don't know what they're called ski resort lifts ski lifts um so whoever likes Going to ski resorts and going to ski lifts, go skiing at Christmas, might be their thing. Um, Nesta treat boxes, these are quite cute, I love how these are. So you, they come singly, um, it's a box of a uh, packet of eight boxes, they're stampable boxes, you can decorate them, you can make them into square, or like they've done here, they've um, ribboned them together and probably stuck them in between as well. But they are individual boxes, so you can make them as tall or as wide as you like. Sorry, I've got a little person next to me and she keeps hounding me. Um, so this is the Precious Pine Cones stamp set. So this is a two-step, no, it's not a two-step, it's a reversible stamp set. So one side of it is the um, plain image. So what you would call the, actually I've got a stamp in front of me. So you've got your, like your pattern side of the stamp, which is this side, and then you'd flip it over like so so you've got your plain background which would be this side so you've got the bow various different leaves and pine cones so they're what they call reversible stamps um i've not actually used any reversible stamps because i'm not really a, well i am a two-step stamp kind of person i like building a stamp rather than coloring 
but I'm trying to venture out into more of the colouring so I've kind of steered away from the two-step stamping. So seeing the 25 on these, these would be great actually if you ordered multiple packets and made a um, advent calendar out of them all so you get eight in a box so you'd need like 8, 16, 24, so three, three packets of these and you could make a 24 day advent calendar box which would be good. Um, so very autumnal set this one so all about autumn so this whole suite is only £100 and look how many different things you're getting you get your DSP, some speciality, foiled DSP you get your embossing folder two pack of ribbon um, speckled dots, gems and you get your stamp set and dies um, stamp sets, a stamp and die set alone is £53 um, I've been finding recently we've had a lot more affordable sweets whereas before uh, quite a while ago when I first started sweets were sometimes beyond £100 each I think the most expensive one I bought was 140 but that had two stamp sets two die sets and two different DSPs various other things but I found they're keeping their sweets a lot more affordable these days um, so then you've got the autumn leaves stamp and die bundle um, so these are what they call the distinctive ink um, and it looks like they're also a million sales rep um, designed set as well I'm not sure who um, Amy Curinders sorry if I've butchered your name there I'm not sure how you pronounce it um, so once you've um, made yourself a million pounds in sale or a million um, CSV, I'm not sure which one it is. CSV is the, like the currency we use for counting how much um, product we've sold. Um, once you've reached a million, um, you get to help design your own stamp set. Um, so with the distinctive ink here, you've got the really patterned inside to give it a more distinctive look. So you've got the different variations and shades within it. So the bigger dots obviously leave darker ink on your page whereas the ones in the middle are slightly smaller dots and they'll leave less ink so it'll give you a more graduated look which I love those inks uh, stamps I've got a couple of those um might show you one day um pull out one of those sets and show you um next up we've got fruitful blessings so it's more of a harvest festival kind of cornucopia kind of set um next up we've got rustic crate so again more harvest time autumn festival -y. you've got your pumpkins and everything um so sincere so this has got a lot of different um sentiments in and then this here i seen some of the use these the other day they're um sunflower masks they're part of a set of masks but the sunflowers actually come and i think it's a set of three so you've got the outer leaves the inner leaves circles and then you've got like an outline or the leaves i think it is ah here we go it shows you all the different here so it's actually a set of four for the sunflowers and then you've got three other ones of so snowflakes um leaves and um i can't think what somebody called this one the other day um The video I was watching a couple of days ago was um, stamping with Hannah. If you pop over to her, she'll be able to tell you what these were. I think it was one of, might have been one of her lives. It might have been her um, new catalogue video I was watching actually, and she was just showcasing a couple of things from the new catalogue. Got a funny feeling it was there. So that was stamping by Hannah. If you pop along and go and watch her video, um, you'll see the lovely um, sunflower card she made. Um, this set is the best. It has glow in the dark paper so you get your glow in the dark stickers you've got bats and ghosts glow in the dark paper i'm not a big halloween person so it would go to waste on me i just love how it's glow in the dark paper um and it reminds me of um funny bones from when i was a kid if you've ever watched the program um so they're great so this sweet's called them bones um, next up we've got the tricks and treats 
so like they've done here they've made lots of trick-or-treat goodies with those um we've got a pumpkin so we're all sort of the october -y theme halloween -y time of year here at the moment um garden walk so floral autumnal kind of colors um it's got a nice little label punch here too and i love the colors in these um pearls so might think of those at some point maybe um we've got the modern garden more wishes so we had the original set like this which was called um biggest wish so this is the same fonts as the biggest wish so you can mix and match them with the um biggest wish ones um and this one's called more wishes just because they match and coordinate and you can make your own phrases then i uh, will probably end up buying that one um so here we go here's another distinctive one so again you've got like the main outline that you've got darker dots and then the inside you've got lighter dots so if you look at it closely here there we go, make sure you can see it you can see the different variants in color so that's exactly how it would stamp which i think is amazing so you've got a couple of here so this is the actual stamped image i think that's pretty cute um and they've got a it's called medley mix stamps this actually goes with the ink and tiled punch and it can coordinate with this one can coordinate with a circle punch um oh, which circle punch we've got three circle punches at the moment is the one and three quarter inch circle punch um so we've got a new year's one here it's called like the sky bundle um stamps are always with me i just love these kind of images mummies and daughters and children and all that lovely stuff um and then we've got blending brushes and the blending brush storage so the small mini blending brushes and the blending brush storage only came out in the annual catalogue so they're fairly new um i love orcas um so this set's called whale watching we've got throughout the year so this is just a great all-round sentiment um set so you've got birthday easter holidays new year trick-or-treat best of luck valentine's and thank you it's just a bit of everything it covers kind of all of your different um um sentiments you need so we've got a year to celebrate so happy birthday and new year's general celebration one we've got the cheers to the season again this is another distinctive one um deckled circles these are new i've got the deckled rectangles and i've used those quite a bit in videos um and then here's just an example of how you can stay simple with your cards or step it up slightly give it a little bit more you don't have to do a lot to make a card look good um then we've got curved occasions bundle oh excuse me um so it's kind of covers more of a masculine side of things as well as well as the warmest heart it's good get well soon and the flask as well is a little bit more masculine i always struggle with masculine cards and i never know what to do so then we've got the just the overview of all of the bundles in this suite i'll just give a quick look through all of those just in case you've missed them previously this one here there is a lot of bundles so by bundles it's not just a bundle by itself it can be a bundle that's within a suite so if you just want the stamps and dies or stamps and punch you don't have to buy the whole suite you can just buy the bundle and the bundles are 10 percent off so when you buy them together you get 10 percent off so the original price of this one originally for the stamps and punch would have been 44 pound but if you buy it in the bundled savings you get 39 pound 50 and then the last few there and then this is the overview of all of the stamp sets as well as all of your embossing folders we've got a couple of hybrid and uh, one hybrid embossing folder actually so a hybrid embossing folder is an embossing folder that holds 
die cutters within it or dies within it whatever you want to call them and it can emboss and die cut at the exact same time or you can just use it by itself for just an embossed look or you can use it to make multiple layers so you can emboss one layer then you can do the embossed and die cut layer and then layer it up to give it a bit more dimension um so and then this is all of the dies here and the last few of the stamps so there's quite a few new stamp sets in this catalogue we've got all of the dsp here as well as the memories of more cards the gift card envelopes i'm not sure if we went over those before some lovely brush gold cards and envelopes very christmas memories and more cards and envelopes so i didn't get those oh it's been a long day i'm afraid sorry if i keep yawning we've got lots of nice ribbons this time um the decorative masks lots of gems and generally sticky back um things we've got five new punches in this catalogue um and then you've got the host exclusive set, which is framing foliage. So it's nice little foliagey frames, um, which are great for colouring in. So that by itself and the sentiment in the middle with just a bit of DSP behind it makes a lovely card. Um, and then just some information about if you'd like to become a demonstrator. So if you become a demonstrator, you can pick 130 pounds of products your own choosing for your starter kit so you can pick anything you like you can make if you, well if your wish list is worth or costs more than 100 pounds sometimes it pays to just sign up as a demonstrator just so you can get the initial discount so you get extra 31 pounds worth of products um just for signing up as a demo you don't have to continue you don't have to turn it into a business you could just be a hobby demo um you could kind of somewhere phase in between like i do um, I like to make videos to share my projects with everyone um, but I'm not necessarily out there to push and sell product um, but if you'd like to buy from me then I will leave the details down below there's no pressure um, so you choose your own starter kit and then you can use it as many please or how you want to use it so that is our new um winter mini catalogue um and before i go i'll quickly show you the very cute um dsp that we missed out at the beginning so it's this one here where did i put my pokey tool to open this packet i always find these tricky to open so oh i've got a good run at it this time for once so slide this paper out so we have got this one here so this i think it's this bit this this and this bit here probably let's have a check actually the bit of paper here. so it's one with his paw up so this one here that you can punch out of this paper um yeah see so one with the paw up and then on the back of that one you've got just a christmasy pattern I love these ones where you've got an actual full kind of um, there we go scene at the bottom just making sure you can see it all and um, blue style pattern or just a Christmassy pattern and then we've got lots of other Christmas animals here so we've got the seal as well that you've got in the uh, that features in the memories of more pack and then we've got this one here just love this one as a background paper and on the back of that one we've got trees and we've got a night of navy and misty moonlight something like that blues i'm out of touch with my colors since i haven't done a few videos recently on the back of that one we've got the bear paw prints and presents well i say bear paw prints we've got all of the animal paw prints here we've got deer bears fox deer i think i've got all that right um presents and on the back you've got a green pattern stripey i'm sorry i hit the camera there just in case i give you all a headache with uh, shaking the page there so that's the dsp pack so if there is anything you'd like to see in more detail or any information you'd like to know about anything in the um, winter catalogue or would like a copy of the winter catalogue i can either email you a pdf copy 
or I can get a um, hard copy sent out to you. Um, just let me know. Um, hopefully I'm going to be back with a couple more projects over the next couple of weeks now that the kids are back to school. Um, so I'm actually filming less. Just, I think, I've got two more days off school before they go back. So by the time you've seen this, they've gone back to school. Um, and we'll have probably been back to school for at least a week. Because it takes me a while to get these things done, I'm afraid. Um, so there will be another video up in the next couple of days. And I'll be going back to posting on a Tuesday like I normally do. It's usually Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so hopefully we're going to go back to a more normal routine. This should be going up on... Saturday night so just a couple two or three days before my next video um so I hope you've enjoyed looking through the new catalogue with me and I hope to see you around again here soon thanks bye bye